Hi folks, Lou here to talk a little bit about how we learn. In this case, the fact that you don't need to take a class to learn. And yet I had a game development student once who told me that that's exactly what he'd been taught in high school, that you had to take a class to learn. And my response is, well, sometimes you learn by doing. That's how I learned game design. Sometimes you learn from reading a book. That's why I wrote a book about game design. And certainly some low quality courses don't teach you very much, unfortunately. There are a lot of bad teachers around. There are a lot of mediocre teachers. And how much you learn from them is open to question. I remember having a chemistry teacher once who had a master's degree in chemistry. This is in high school. But he was a terrible teacher. So the students taught each other and used the book. And fortunately, the book was good, and each other was good, and so we learned something about chemistry. But with a good teacher, we would have learned a lot more. Now, this can get extreme. My wife cannot recognize distances within sight. So I'll say, it's 100 yards that way, and she has no idea what I mean. She says she never had the chance to learn. And in other cases, she'll often say, no one taught me how to do that. Well, you can learn things without being taught. You learn by experimentation or even by trial and error. And that's how I think most people learn distances within sight. I know I've actually been driving along and looked at something in the distance and thought, well, I think it's such and such far away, and then checked my odometer to see how far it actually was so I could adjust my point of view. Or to give another example, I like to guess people's weights. And unfortunately, the only way to find out whether my guess was good is to ask them how much they weigh. And from that, I can adjust my means of estimate. It's not something I learned in a class. It's not something I learned from a book. It's something I learned from experience. In every case, a teacher has to either learn from other people or has to learn from experience, as again, how I learned game design. And many people who design games now learned, initially at least, from their own experience. Nowadays, there are lots of books around, and anybody who's smart is going to read some of those books. And there are lots of, there's lots of information on the uh, internet, and people can read that and learn from that. But ultimately, you don't have to take a class to learn how to do something. Thanks for listening.